Okay, uh, I've managed to get the solar panel up on the roof by myself. Uh, sun's busy doing his revising. Uh, so now what I've got to do is um, mark it up, ready to stick it in place. As you can see, I've already cleaned the roof of all the algae. Um, obvious point, but make sure you, you don't use a shampoo and wax. Uh, that will leave a residue. So I just used a uh, weak washing up liquid solution and then cleaned it off with um, fresh water and I have some isopropanol to um, to clean uh, the feet of the brackets and the roof before I actually stick it down. Uh, isopropanol is not easy to find, you can buy it on the internet but other than that the only place I could find it was uh, Maplin. You want to be a bit careful of using stuff like um, rubbing alcohol or surgical spirit because that's got other stuff in like castor oil which are, will leave a residue as will things like terps or um, methylated spirits. So, yes. so the next thing is to, uh, to mark it up. Right, it's all marked up. Top left, top right, bottom right, if it's there, bottom left. Now as you can see, I've put those bits of black draft excluder stuck up against the lines because once I've got the seeker flex on and I squash it down I don't want to be moving it around so I want a guide so that I can push it up against those so I put two there so I can push it up in that corner and I put one there so I hope that will work anyway time for the seeker flex oops sorry okay so I put the seeker flex on each of the corners hopefully I've got enough as you can see there we are so I can't do this holding the camera, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to put you down and show it to you when I've finished, hopefully finished. Right, well there it is, all nicely fitted. It's all um, stuck down. Uh, probably could have done with using a bit more in the way of um, uh, seeker flex, because it took a bit of a pushing down to, to get it to the exact round side. And as you can see, the um, draft excluder I use has left some dark marks so I'm going to have to use the um, isopropanol to get that off uh, it's also left a dark mark at the back there as you can see but other than that not looking too bad well I was so desperate to um, get all the holes drilled and sealed before it rains today that I forgot to film the, the drilling of the hole but anyway there she goes needs a bit of trimming off it's a 13 mil hole through the caravan roof. I hate doing stuff like that. I'll just show you the up this stairs bit. There's the panel all nicely stuck down. There we go. Yeah, she's stuck down. The cable diameter is six mil. So I've drilled, as I said just now, a 13 mil hole through. And there it is. All I need to do now is clean the area around it, clean around the edge of the aluminium so it's not too sharp, and we'll stick it through and stick the uh, access box thing through. Okay, we're ready to go. I've tried to get everything up here ready uh, so I don't have to keep climbing up, but uh, knowing me, I'm going to have to go back down at least six times. So um, I'm going to cut the plugs off the end there so I can get them into the unit then I'm going to use this convoluted tube electrical tube here um, to just give it a bit of protection and I've got the sticky pads there that I will use to um, clamp the uh, convoluted tube to the roof using zip ties so that's the plan I'm going to get on with it now and show you in a bit later so here we go <clears throat> excuse me I've marked up the hole through so that I can get it pretty much centre. Now the thing to do is to make sure you put your cables through first because if you glue it down it's really fiddly to get through there and then go through 90 degrees into the hole. So I've got my convoluted tube on, the length isn't that critical because it disappears under the panel and uh, as you can see I've got my little clampy things on as well. Uh, so just make sure you've got everything on before you stick it down so um, I suggest uh, well, what I've done anyway is mark everything up and I'm going to put it together now and just make sure it all works before I stick it down. Right, I've stuck it down 
had to go and get a brick as you can see because uh, it was twisty and the wires were having to twist it and pull it up but she didn't look too bad I think um, I shall leave it now before about 30 minutes or maybe an hour just to get stuck down and then I'll attach the convoluted tube to the roof um, you'll notice I've put it that way around uh, I would have put it that way around which whatever I was going to do because um, obviously the airflow and the water is going to be coming this direction so hopefully it will prevent water going grass into the into the uh, little bolt things there okay that'll do for now I shall do some more later